Let's take a look at question 10. And then solve five, then go to 10. So question five, let's see. Question five says you have the second derivative of y minus y equal to zero. And then the very first solution is given to you as hyperbolic cosine x. You want to find the second solution. Very good. So first of all, remember that from 4.3, we can form the auxiliary equation, m squared minus one equal to zero. So m is plus minus one. So we expect the general solution to be c1 e to the x plus c2 e to minus x. Very good. So our first solution is given to us. Let us find the second solution. We know that the second solution has the form mu x times cosine hyperbolic x. If you remember the definition of hyperbolic functions, sine hyperbolic x is defined as e to the x, well, minus e to minus x divided by two, and hyperbolic cosine is defined e to the x plus e to minus x divided by two, and the, div the tangent is a division between that and for cotangent, you just flip them. Well, for the derivatives of hyperbolic functions, the sine hyperbolic, derivative is equal to hyperbolic cosine and also cosine hyperbolic the derivative is equal to sine okay these are the facts that we know and we also want to use the method of reduction of order to solve this differential equation so first of all we need to find the second derivative of this uh, possible solution so we have the first derivative which is u prime hyperbolic cosine plus u times hyperbolic sine and the second derivative becomes the second derivative of u cosine hyperbolic plus mu prime times hyperbolic sine plus now we take the derivative of u times sine applying the product we get u prime hyperbolic sine plus u hyperbolic cosine very good as you can see these two are like terms so we can add them together now you have to just substitute these two into your original differential equation. It becomes the second derivative of u times hyperbolic cosine plus two u prime sine hyperbolic plus u hyperbolic cosine minus y minus u hyperbolic cosine must be zero. So can we simplify this? Of course, you can cancel out these two. What's left? You have the second derivative of u times cosine hyperbolic plus two u prime x sine hyperbolic x equal to zero. So if you rearrange this, we can see we have a and x, we'll just write down a sub two, the second derivative plus here you have a one x, the first derivative equal to zero. So in this case, you have cosine hyperbolic times the second derivative of u plus two hyperbolic sine times the first derivative of u equal to zero. Very good. So here we can apply a simple substitution. Let's take w to be u prime and reduce the order to the first order differential equation. We get cosine hyperbolic x w prime of x plus two hyperbolic sine times w equal to zero. Very good. So if we divide these two to write it in standard form, we get the first derivative of w plus two hyperbolic tangent x times w equal to zero. So here we have a linear homogeneous differential equation. We can find the integrating factor, which is e to the integral two hyperbolic tangent x dx, which has become, well, if you remember how to take the integral of hyperbolic functions, let's just write them down on this side. Let me erase this part of the board. 
to write down the integral. So the integral of hyperbolic sine x dx is nothing but hyperbolic cosine x plus c. The integral of cosine hyperbolic dx is nothing but sine hyperbolic plus c. And the integral of hyperbolic tangent x dx becomes ln of, well, here you are working with hyperbolic cosine x plus constant of integration. And if you're working with your cotangent, well, the hyperbolic cotangent x dx becomes ln of sine hyperbolic x plus c. So here you get e to the integral two hyperbolic tangent. The integral is equal to e to two ln of cosine hyperbolic x, which becomes, well, if you move this exponent here, you get cancel out e and ln. We're left with hyperbolic cosine to the power two of x. This is your integrating factor integrating factor. Now you multiply everything that you have by hyperbolic cosine squared. Very good. So this becomes W prime times hyperbolic cosine squared plus two hyperbolic tangent times hyperbolic cosine squared and here we have w equal to zero on the left hand side we have ddx of w times hyperbolic cosine squared of x and on the right hand side we have a zero so on the left hand side you have w of x and mm, times cosine hyperbolic squared mm, equals to so let's just keep it as it is equals to c sub 1, for example. Very good. So w of x becomes c1 divided by hyperbolic squared cosine of x. And now w is nothing but u. So let's just substitute this back here and try to solve for u. Very good. So u prime becomes c1 divided by hyperbolic cosine squared of x. So u is the integral of c1 divided by hyperbolic cosine squared x dx. Remember that this can be re uh, reversed as um, you have secant squared, and then you get the integral of C1 secant squared, secant hyperbolic squared of x dx, which is nothing but u equals to, well, C1, and we have, well, tangent hyperbolic plus C2. As usual, you can set C1 equals to 1 and C2 equal to 0 to get your u to become just hyperbolic tangent. Hyperbolic tangent. Well, so remember that we're trying to find the general solution. And y2 becomes u times hyperbolic cosine. So this guy becomes tangent is sine over cosine. Cosine and cosine cancel out. So you're left with hyperbolic sine. We found y1 and y2. Again, if you recall the definition of hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine, you can convert them to this format. How? Let's take a look at this. So the general solution for this differential equation, yc1 times hyperbolic cosine plus C2 hyperbolic sine. So y becomes C1 e to the x plus e to minus x divided by two plus C2 e to the x minus e to minus x divided by two. Here you can factor out e to the x and then you get C1 divided by two plus C2 divided by two. And here you can factor out e to minus x. You get 
C1 divided by 2 minus C2 divided by 2. Let's just call these like C sub 3 and C sub 4, or just in general, capital C, C1, e to the x plus C2, e to minus x. As you can see, your final answers are exactly the same. Thank <laughs> you.